Hey guys, welcome back. Kellen here from Droid Life. So we're going to walk through Google Earth today. It's just quickly, it was updated and uh, now has full support for tablets, honeycomb. As you can see, um, you know, it still works. It used to work. Now it just works better. They've tossed in some more stuff to it. Let's rotate the globe around there. Um, anyway, first thing you'll notice is up top here, that's a new action bar you got going on. So we got instant search up here. You got your voice search, your voice actions. You got a compass, your my location button. They've tossed in some new layers. Um, you can see we got places, panoramia photos, pano panoramio photos, I can't ever say that right. Um, 3D buildings, which we've got turned on. So anyway, some new layers. They really tweaked it and made it pretty solid product. Not that it wasn't already, but as you, what I'm saying is they've just made it better. So anyway, let's go check out the Eiffel Tower. This is one of those buildings we all know of, right? So we'll fly down in here to uh, Paris and take a look at the uh, 3D version of the Eiffel Tower. So if we start zooming in, you can see we're changing the angle of how we're viewing the Eiffel Tower. So there's that 3D action going on there. We can get in a little bit closer. You can actually you know, fly right through the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> see that? So 3D buildings. Pretty awesome, right? And if we go ahead and pull up, I'm actually going to turn 3D buildings off for a second. Go ahead and pull up just regular buildings. You can see there's, like we can pull up the Wikipedia page for it. And this may have been in there previously, but it just seems like it's added functionality now. Um, it's actually the, uh, it's sort of like the landmark spot or button for this landmark, which is the Eiffel Tower. So you can see we've got photos. You can look at different photos of it. Um, and some, you know, just read up some more details about it. And then, of course, there's that Wikipedia page, which gives you all sorts of details on it as well. Um, and some of them you can even find ratings for it, depending on, you know, if it's a restaurant or something like that. You can find, you can find ratings, things like that. And then to get rid of this menu, you just tap out there, and that goes away. Okay, so that's kind of cool, some tweaks there. Let's go ahead and fly over to my hometown of Portland. Watch it go to work. You can see the experience is pretty smooth. And let's just go ahead and zoom in downtown here. Okay, so if we zoom in downtown, I'm actually going to turn those 3D buildings back on. So this will work for any major city. You can see they've they already started adjusting there to become 3D. So if we go ahead and zoom in, and we're going to adjust our angle like we do with uh, Google Maps. So if we adjust our angle, that gives you that full city view. So you can essentially go down into the street here. See, we're in... I actually don't know what street that is in Portland. Um, but we can just cruise down the street and you can see quite a bit of detail on some of these buildings. Actually, we're a little too close to get a lot of detail. But like, check out, this is the U.S. Bancorp Tower in Portland. You know, one of the taller buildings. Not that we have really tall buildings, but you can see they've done, the, it's got sort of gold accents. And you can see they've actually included those on there. Oops. So, pretty cool. Um, yeah, you can just sort of fly down the streets. Here's Burnside, Portland, sort of a main street. We can just cruise up Burnside. So, you know, we have Google Maps, and we're all aware that Google Maps is king. I actually got stuck behind a building there. Did you see that? Um, Google Maps is king, but Google Earth is still a cool thing to just have on your tablet, to play with, show people your city, other landmarks, things like that. So anyway, um, we'll have more of the blog. Check us out. We're Droid Life, and we're out. Peace.